Hello everyone. We have been discussing about the unit 3 functions and pointers in the past videos. This is the last video on this unit. This unit this video is going to be on the next topic pointers. So the pointers is one of the important topic in uh, uh, C language and this is the most difficult topic too. So just have a glance at the video and just have an idea of what pointers are and how they can be just used. So to start with pointers, pointers is nothing but it's also going to be a variable but generally any variable will be holding a value. So here a pointer is going to hold a memory address as its value. Right? Any integer variable will have an integer as its value. As, um, an array will have a collection of uh, uh, in integers or characters as, their, as its value. A float variable will have a float value, say 3.5 as its value. But a pointer will contain a memory address of another variable as its value. So it's a variable that holds the memory address or location of another value. That memory address will be can be used in any part of your program to find where the variable is right so here we can also have another pointer type called null pointer which has the value 0 means nothing so null pointer can also be used in some cases when you want to uh, when you want the pointer to point to something that doesn't have anything so we can just initialize it with 0 and you can just use and the next thing is important thing is data type whenever we speak about variable we should also know about its data type so for a pointer variable what could be the data type data type of the pointer variable is nothing but the data type of the value it is going to point when the pointer or integer point panna podu adavad integer or location point panna podu na adu integer pointer float value or as a point panna pogudha appdin sonna adu float pointer right so accordingly we can just initialize sorry declare initialize and then use so here is how we can declare a pointer so generally it is declared similar to any other variables but here we we differentiate the variable as a pointer using the dereference operator so idu vandu variable da ana idu pointer variable abdin vithyasa padithi kaamikira kaaga adukku munadi or asterisk symbol adavad dereference operator use pannu so syntax enna abdina data type star asterisk variable name so this is a syntax for an example you can just declare a pointer variable addr right so it is going to be an integer pointer so it can be declared as int asterisk addr so addr can contain the address of another integer variable so addr la enna vekka mudiyona innor integer variable oda address how to use a pointer so a pointer can be used to point to another variable and that is why we call it as a pointer right it points to another variable means it gives you the location or address of another variable that is what we call as pointer so or inno or variable enga store a irukudu abdingra address a idu kudukradunala adukku peru pointer appdin solrom so syntax eppadi or pointer ku or value eppadi assign panna mudiyum i already told you that a pointer can hold the address of another variable as its value so pointer ku kudukkudiya value inno or address a irukanu appo and the pointer ku eppadi nama value assign pannalam appadina pointer name is equal to ambersen variable name ambersen means address we always know that it is the reference operator right so ambersen variable name so this is how we can just use it for example we can have two variables one as or in, as integer data type so int no is equal to 28 some number and a pointer variable addr now addr can be assigned with the address of no so here is how the memory is allocated for no and addr two different variables so they have been given two different memory locations say no is stored at some location 2100 addr is stored at location 1500 no is given or as initialized with the value 28 anala no ode location la 28 ingra value initialize aidichu addr is empty now when you just give this statement addr is equal to ambersen no what should happen address of no should be stored in addr address of no is nothing but 2100 
so addr gets the value 2100 so this is how you can use a pointer initially to initialize a value or to assign any address value to a pointer we can just use this statement so in the mother statement use pan mode memory la idu dhaan nadakum addr la no day address and over the store it's, uh, it's according to the data type in a other memory la memory address of point pandra thikku in a type of uh, data maybe uh, the hexadecimal system are clan illa where a number system are clan in the number system use pandra and the other uh, kata madriana or value add to continue with that we can just consider the same example no is equal to 28 star addr comma copy here we have another variable called copy right so previous i used the address addr ambassador of n over assign panirko here how will you print the value of n n o so n o the value we print panano abdin so na number rend method use panla so print of value of n o is equal to percentage d comma n o generally this is the thing that we use you know wish you address value of print panla right that is the addr and the pointer value i print panano abdina value of no is equal to percentage d comma asterisk addr yen sonna addr la enna irukku no udaya value irukku no udaya address value irukku so and the address la irukka kudiya value edukano abdin sonna we have to use asterisk addr similarly next example is to assign a new value to a number for example no is already 28 so in 28 and 36 are mathano abdin so now we can use this statement no equal to 36 so that is what we generally use similarly we can also use it as star addr equal to 36 because star addr is nothing but the value at location addr addr line arc no address so the value at location no's address is equal to 36 so 36 will be stored in the address of no right so 28 will be now updated with the value 36 so this is how we can use a pointer for any value next thing is you can just assign the value of no to another variable you copy right so here i have given the example copy equal to no so enna agu no ude value enna wo adu copy la store agu adu eppadi eludalam appadina copy equal to star addr appadino eludalam so copy equal to star addr appadino eludalam engala ninga no nu use pandringalo anga ellame star addr appadin use pannalam reason enna appadina addr has been assigned with the address of coming to the operators pointer has two operators to be used along with that one is the reference operator or the ambersen and the other one is the dereference operator or the asterisk symbol so reference operator is also called as address of operator so ambersen already we know that we have used this in scanf statement it gives the address of a variable whereas dereference operator that is asterisk symbol it gives the value stored at an loc address or location so ampersand abdinger operator address of a variable kuduko adhe idu asterisk symbol adhavadhu dereference operator and the address la store a irukra value ennavo adha kuduko so this should be properly used when we use in your programs for example printf no is stored at address right so no is stored at it should be some address so yaro address no ude address are kono so no would a variable would address in 2100 so that can be represented at ambersen no generally we do it ambersen no one could think of dinner 2100 in a display of please remember the value will be displayed according to the the system number system that is used in the memory so this is just for a sample and here we have the value stored at percentage d is percentage d in enna kudukrona in the address la in the value store a irukku appdin solla porom so value stored at some address is percentage d so nam ange use panitirundha variable add illaya so value stored at address addr fine is 28 so addr la enna irukku 2100 irukku and the 2100 address la enna value irukku 28 irukku so that is what we are just printing so ambersen will give you the address 
asterisk will give you the value ampersand no will give you the address 2100 star addr will give you the value at that address that is nothing but 28 next is about the pointer arithmetic arithmetic means what are all the different operations that you can perform with a pointer so pointer could perform panna kudiya operations arithmetic operations rendu da one addition and subtraction other operations like multiplication or division cannot be done with a pointer right so pointer arithmetic can contain only two arithmetic operations one is the addition the other one is subtraction apart from that we can also compare any two addresses so or memory address at the location evada kammiya irukuda jaastiya irukuda angradiyum nama check pannikalam it is nothing but whether is it is ahead or before that also you can just check using comparison operators so here we see an example two variables one is a val it's a normal integer variable which contains the value 52 and another one is a pointer variable ptr and it contains the address of val which is nothing but 2100 right so this is the appropriate declaration for that int val is equal to 52 and star ptr ptr is equal to ampersand val this is the initial assignment we provide now we'll just apply the pointer arithmetic here ptr plus 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 abdina ina it's incremental incremental operation it is nothing but ptr plus 1 so generally when we add 1 to any value it will be just incremented by 1 for example 50 plus 1 will give you 51 but when you do the same thing on a pointer it will be just incremented by the number of bytes required for that data type right so here ptr is already having the value 2100 so ptr plus plus abdin increment pannumbodu it will have the value 2102 because it is an integer pointer integer pointer na enna artham it points to the address of another integer value or a variable right so th since this is an integer pointer it will be incremented by 2 bytes so the pointer will be having the value i mean ptr will have the value 2102 now idhe float pointer ah irundhadu appdin sonna idu 2104 ah maari irukum character pointer ah irundhadna 2101 ah maari irukum got that similarly we can also apply ptr minus minus so already ptr has 2102 nama previous statement la increment pannom ipo adha decrement pannumbodhu enna agudhu marubadi adha 2 bytes reduce agudhu it, it is decremented by 2 so ptr plus plus is equivalent to ptr equal to ptr plus 1 which is equivalent to ptr is incremented by 2 bytes so plus plus and minus minus are generally used to traverse and access the values in an array or array la irukra values and the array la traverse panni and the array la irukra values access pandrathukku nama generally plus plus minus minus use pannalam so if you are going to access an array using a pointer we will be just in need of this operators plus plus and ptr minus minus next is the comparison so comparison is nothing but comparing two values whether one is lesser or the other one is lesser so here we have two variables ptr1 and ptr2 so here i have just visualized it ptr1 is stored at some location 3100 and ptr2 is stored at some location 2500 ptr1 holds the value 2000 and ptr2 holds the value 3500 so 2000 and 3500 are memory addresses of some other variables fine so now you can just compare those values so this can also be used when you want to check whether ptr1 holds the address which is before or after 3500 so end address munadi irke end address pinadi irke abingiradha check pandrathu compare pandrathukaga indha mari comparison operator use pannalam so here i have given less than symbol so similarly we can also use the greater than symbol to compare this also is a concept that we can just use in next is about the arrays and pointers which is another important subdivision of using pointers array is nothing but a collection of values of same data type this thing we have already studied in unit 2 so an array can be generally accessed using an iteration variable whenever we use an array we used to use a for loop 
for loop kula nama i plus plus and the madri kudu over value and access panwalia ade madri or pointer vachu namlala or array lurkara values access panamudi. So in the category la pananu abdin sona up pointer kenna terino array inga start agdin grada terino because pointer is a single variable. A single variable can contain only a single value. Right? A power pointer la ure ure value da vakimuni, which is nothing but the address of the first element of the array. First element inga store airko, adhan ura address a matto pointer la store pani vachikla. Adha kapra no previous a padacha plus plus operator kila, ilana plus one plus two. And the arithmetic operation which nama pointer in a panikla, next position ka move pani nama use panikla. So here we have ampersand of x of 0 ampersand of x of 0 abdina enna artho first element today address so x of 0 ngiradha nam ampersand of x of 0 ngiradha nam epdi ezhudalam abdina x nu ezhudalam where x is nothing but the name of the array so here in the picture you can see a array x which contains some four number of variables x zero x of 0 x of 1 x of 2 x of 3 abdina or four variable values irukku Four locations in the array would appear x first location would address ampersand of x of 0 either x no number solala all right so either x and every solala abdina x plus 0 abdina number mean panicla x plus 0 up ampersand of x of 1 and number every solala x plus 1 ampersand of x of 2 every solala x plus 2 abdin solala so here Amberson pota address abding rather than a makaterio, ana veru xo, x plus one o, x plus two o kudta kuda, that means the address. So now the red color la mention manir kudde, they are nothing but the values. X of one abdina value. So array kula in the first position, la, I mean index position la, in the value store ayir kudu, other than x of one. Other than a makudukono abdina, pointer which kudu krapa, abdi kudukono, star x plus one. Sariya, ampersand x of 1 x plus 1 in eridala apo adhanarukkara value edupina x of 1 is equal to star x plus 1 this is how we use in the red i have given that in the red shape similarly ampersand of x of 2 can be written as x plus 2 apo x of 2 ngara value edupi edukala star of x plus 2 so you just practice this you can just easily write the programs so if we have an array x with the 20 locations maximum and we have a pointer star ptr here we can just assign the pointer to point to the first location of the array so on the statement fd ptr is equal to x right to continue with that here we have an array arr which can hold a maximum of five values and here we have a pointer ptr so, we will start with PTR ARR array starting location. So, we will start PTR is equal to array name ARR. It is very simple. So, PTR is equal to ARR. PTR is now pointing to the first element of the array. So, here we just indirectly mean that PTR is equal to Amberson ARR of 0. ARR of 0 is the address of 1000. So, PTR is the value of 1000. Now we will see an example program using this concept of arrays and pointers. So pointers use pane or array abde access pana modi yon abdeing garadu kore example program. So this is a program to find the sum of the array elements. Or array ilar kore ila elements yon add pana poro. This we had done already in the usual pattern. So numbers and use pane yon amandha maari pattern la namai irkano eridhan adhe program na adhe logic na. The thing is, we are going to make changes in how we are going to access the elements. Fine. So here we have the variables i, which is nothing but the iteration variable, and then the array, which is going to have a maximum of six values and sum equal to zero. Generally, we use this initial as an initial assignment for uh, calculating the sum of any collection and a pointer variable, integer pointer star ptr. So, PTR value when we use pannanu array kaka abdeen so nala enna pannanu PTR equal to ARR ngra statement ta initial a use pannikinu. And then we are just going to read 6 numbers from the users. So, in the 6 numbers ayo nama for loop use pannanu vahinka poro. User kita input a read pannika poro. User scanf statement. Scanf statement ebdi yadudhanu? Generally, ebdi yadudhanu? Scanf 
percent HD, Amberson ARR of zero. This is the procedure. So Amberson ARR of zero can be written as ARR plus zero. Right? So just uh, refer to the yellow highlighted words. So Amberson of ARR of zero is equal to ARR plus zero. Abdinal. ARR plus zero ARR ARR can the value of initial assign panirko. PTR na assign panirko. PTR abdina ina PTR plus zero ngrade indirect meaning. So in I u de value in the initial zero. Apena edala PTR plus zero or PTR plus I in the lama. So that is what we just do. So PTR plus zero will point to the first value. Then I will be incremented, will, will become PTR plus one. PTR plus one will point to the second value and PTR plus 2 will point to the third value etc. It will just proceed. So this is how we can just use this method to access any array element. And next thing is sum plus equal to ARR of i So ARR of i na may be ARR of ARR plus i. So here we are just going to point to the value. Anala ina pandro the pointer which access pandra thanala asterisk PTR plus i abdina erudhanu. So, this is previous method. You just refer to the highlighted words. Right? So, in this pattern, we are just replacing the pointer value with a different variable and we are just using. So, this will work for calculating the sum of n values in an array. The output of this program will be just normal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, sum equal to 21. One thing to consider here is PTR plus I da use pannama. PTR plus plus use pannama abdina. PTR plus plus we use pannama. Plus plus is also a, just an increment by 1. So PTR plus plus will move the pointer to the next location. Fine. So in your PTR in now go at the location at the location of the sixth location where you can it stop. Ado. Suppose if you are going to use the array through the pointer in the remaining program nama program edoda mudinjirchu suppose idha program ninga continue pandra maadhiri irundha ptr equal to arr abdingra statement ah marubadiyum eludhanu reason enna abdina the when you use ptr plus plus the pointer would have moved to the last location sariya so last location ponadukapra marubadi and the pointer enna pannano array node first position ah point panna vechittu adukapra ninga further utilization ku adha access pannikla right in the pattern la ptr plus ku kudukumbodhu nam andha madri kudukka venam ptr plus i ngra po plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 ngra da calculation na agume uliye the pointer won't move pointer will be in the same location adhe position ah dhan point pannite irukku plus nu kudukumbodhu mattum it will just calculate and do ana plus plus kudutinga na the pointer will entirely move you just type the program ptr plus i a ptr plus plus use panni replace panni paarenga you can just find the change so few questions for you to practice the first one is a theory question so you just browse or check up in your book or somewhere and find out the, what are the benefits of using pointers so pointer use pandra the other c programming la pointer irukka abdina adukku kandipa benefits irukku only thing ease of access because we are directly accessing some memory location other than main benefit you just check what are the other benefits and copy in your notebook and next thing is C program to display the array elements. So previous program le sum calculate pannu. Ipana solid karde pan the array lerka elements amat to display pannanga. That's all very simple. So ninge PTR plus I concept use pannu try pannanga. PTR plus plus use pannu try pannanga. Program eri thena the kapro you just type in your uh, computer and this check for the output. And third one is you are supposed to print or display the value at a location and also its location so or array element and then node address in the madri over element ku print pannu so you print the value at the location and also the location or it is nothing but the address so you have to just do it line by line this has to be done with the help of pointer right so this is an important question so just try it out Pointers is an important concept in terms of placement questions. So placement interviews la questions ninga aptitude questions attend pannumbodhu technical aptitude la most of the questions will be from pointer concept. In C language la pointer concept la nariya questions varu. So it's a very important thing. You just practice this pointer concept visually. Ninga 
ஸ்டாக்கில் டவுட்ஸ் இருக்குது அப்படின்னு சொன்னாலே அதை சின்ன பிக்சராக அட்ரெஸ்ஸாக நீங்களாகவே ஒன்று எழுதி அந்த மாதிரி ப்ராக்டிஸ் பண்ணிங்கன்னா ப்ராக்டிசிங் பாயிண்ட்ரு ஒன் பி டிஃபிகல்ட் திங் அட் ஆல் ஸோ இட் வில் பிகம் ஈஸியர் ஒன் ரைட் ஸோ ட்ரை டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் திஸ் இஃப் யூஆர் நே நாட் ஏபிள் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் அட் ஸ்லைட் இட் ஜஸ்ட் கோ த்ரூ இட் அகெயின் ஸோ தட் யூ கேன் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் இஸ் சம்திங் தட் யூ ஹாவ் டு ரிமெம்பர் டில் யூ கம்ப்ளீட் யுவர் கோர்ஸ் ஸோ தேங்க்யூ தேங்க்யூ